Hello friend, let's see the next problem which is question number 7. Very important problem with having a very good tricky problem concept. So well the question is the acceleration of a car started at t is equal to 0 varies with the time as on it figure. Now find the distance traveled during the time 30 second and draw the position time graph. So well if you are talking about this uh, graph, the graph is 5 meter per second square it's in feet okay five feet in per second square okay no problem well then at the zero guys for your information i must say that the if you remember i have already discussed like the acceleration acceleration is nothing but the change in velocity like v minus u by t you can say that the change in velocity by time is the acceleration right so change in velocity you must say acceleration to time right got it so what we will do in this question we'll draw the first of all we'll draw the velocity time graph from a solution and then from a velocity time graph we'll draw the distance or position time graph so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw the velocity time graph first and then i'll going to draw the displacement or distance time graph then okay so what i'm going to here first of all i'm going to draw the velocity time graph so guys here you can see zero to at time is equal to 0 when time is 0 well let's say time is 0 the solution is here 5 so 5 into 0 will give you 0 okay so basically at t is equal to 0 we'll have the 0 but at the as the time reaches 10 as the time reaches to 10 the solution reaches to 5 so 5 into 10 will have the value whenever it is 10 second is there so our uh, velocity will reaches to 10 then after i find it that the my acceleration is zero guys very important concept if acceleration is zero if acceleration is zero means the velocity is constant velocity is constant right because the final minus will give you the zero final minus initial will give you zero then the acceleration will be zero right so it means it's a constant graph here and the last there is a deceleration for the same duration so just it will draw it the same way okay guys so we have this velocity versus time graph now we'll have to draw the position versus the time graph okay so basically if you have to find the position versus time graph so i'll divide it into a b c d e f i'll drive, divide it into this part the first of all this area remember guys area under the velocity and time graph will give you the displacement right so first of all find the area under a b c area under a b c area under a b c i write it here like area under abc area under abc is nothing but the triangle here right so half base what about the base base is 0 to 10 right 0 to 10 this is a base so we'll have the base as a 10 and then what about the height guys here it reaches the 50 meter per second we just find the value 50 right so it will have the 50 so basically we'll have the answer as a 250 meter so area under the velocity time graph abc is 50 but in this situation we find one more thing we have to keep in mind that the velocity is increasing if the velocity is increasing the if you'll see the inclination like we have to check the slope the slope the inclination is increasing during this interval because the velocity is also change in displacement per unit time means it also depends upon its slope so slope is inclination increasing so uh, like 0 to 10 your distance will be in the parabolic like the increasing way this must be increasing way. just try to understand it is increasing way but during c to d you will see the area under this like the second part i'll just find the area under this uh, this part so basically it's uh, the duration is 10 to 20 here and this is 30 right so this part is 10 and this part height is 50 so 15 to 10 will give me area of c d e i must say c d e b is the area of uh, uh, rectangle which is 50 into 10 will give you 500 got it so will 500 is there and even though the velocity is constant when velocity is constant keep in mind guys i have no idea when i was your age when i was in 12th standard i was really find difficult to solve such a problem remember guys this will be the straight lines the straight line because the velocity is constant got it here the increasing graph will be there the parabolic increasing this is the straight line this must be the straight line because the velocity is constant when this this uh, the, when there is a deceleration then after deceleration means the velocity is decreasing negative way the opposite direction hence the displacement will uh, let's find the area area will be remain same as the earlier one the triangle which is using the half base into height the base is 10 and uh, the height is 50 so we'll have like the again 250 so uh, if you'll see uh, our uh, this area this part area will be 
was 250 and thus this rectangle area was 500 right so uh, first of all the straight line will be up to this 750 right the up to the 750 the straight line the up to the 750 because till here it's a uh, gradual increasing then it's a straight line because it's uh, increasing uh, constantly increasing and then finally decreasing so the graph from 750 to uh, 750 to 1000 it will be gradually decreasing like see here it will be now the graph will be like this much so once again i just draw it for you how it will be the graph i'll just show you my graph what will be the graph uh, i must say final my graph will be i must say that there is a as a so rough diagram the graph will be increasing so it's like this then the straight line and the graph will be this got it is it clear to you very important concept guys try to understand the concept really helpful for you thank you for watching this video